evening, Coin 6 is following up on a DUI crash that killed a trick-or-treater one year ago. This little girl was struck from behind along with her mother as they were going door-to-door. -door. Jennifer Dowling joins us now in that neighborhood where this tragedy happened last year and has more on how Vancouver police plans to keep trick-or-treaters safe this year. Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, Chris. If this heavy rain weren't enough for trick-or-treaters to deal with tonight, they also have to worry about the possibility of getting struck and injured or even killed by someone who's driving while intoxicated. Now we're standing at the spot where seven-year-old Cadence was killed last year after a driver came and struck her while she was trick-or-treating with her family. A huge tragedy out here. And tonight, this is one of the locations that Vancouver Police will be patrolling heavily with increased DUI patrols. Just feeling the way that we feel is just... It feels like your heart is literally breaking. Annie Boyer looks back on last Halloween with tears and a broken heart. She remembers walking with her seven-year-old Cadence on the sidewalk when police say Dwayne Abbott jumped the curb and hit them. It's like everything is about her. Everything Our reminds life. us of her. She says like most very protective parents, she had Cadence covered in glow sticks. She thought she was visible and being safe, never imagining her daughter would be hit and killed anyway. We did all the steps to, that you do as a parent to protect your child and it didn't do any good. Annie warns other parents to be very aware of their surroundings. And in order to better protect kids this Halloween, Vancouver police will also be doing their part with additional officers dedicated to DUI stops and arrests. Vancouver police say in 2014 they responded to three separate DUI crashes between 8.20 p.m. and 1.30 a.m. Two of those resulted in the deaths of three people. Police advise that you designate a sober driver, call a cab, don't text and drive, and use hands-free cell phones only. Stay alert for trick-or-treaters as well or pedestrians and drive below the speed limit if pedestrians are present. The boyers tell parents and drivers you can never be too careful. So I just, you know, don't want that to happen again, like to someone, else's to someone else's child. It's the worst thing that could possibly happen to a family, to a mother, to a father. And Vancouver police tell us that 48% of traffic fatalities on the holiday are indeed caused by someone who's driving while impaired. Chris, back to you. All right, Jennifer, thank you for that.